What's good YouTube? This is Deeker Jones here and today I wanted to bring you a guide that I've been putting together on how to make what is called a template character. And what we're going to be doing is utilizing a number of the different dupes and glitches and such that we have covered in the past weeks in order to create a character that has not done anything or much of anything in the game at all but is whatever level that you want them to be. Uh, this way and you'll have all of your perk points unspent the idea is is that once you get this character built up and have done everything and you're ready to start the game you make a hard save of that character at that point and then you can just go back and start from that point at any time in the future uh, if you care to switch between sexes of course you'll have to do this on two different characters or you know you just kind of have to deal with having just the one sex which you know, most people don't mind playing the same character, and you can always go have reconstructive surgery if you want to look different. So coming out of the vault, of course, make your character however you want. The only thing to really remember is that if you do not intend to do the, the glitch in order to max out your special stats, you will want to have at least five in luck in order to get Idiot Savant and one in intelligence in order to make it easier. So once you get out of the vault, you want to head straight over to your house, skipping past Codsworth and everything, and grab the Your Special book. Uh, assign the point however you desire, and then, uh, again, just don't put any into intelligence, because the more intelligence you have, the slower this process is going to be overall, as counterintuitive as that might seem. The way Idiot Savant works is the lower your intelligence, the more often it occurs, and the bonus that you get from it uh, by level 11 is five times the experience, and when it goes off that often, it, it's just it's ridiculous how quickly you'll level. So next we're going to head over to Red Rocket. we got to pick up dog meat so that we can start doing the duplication glitch. Now when you first arrive here, just give them a quick chat, pick them up. And don't forget that mole rats spawn here, so you're going to want to take care of those before you get started on your daily adventure of duping the special book. Okay, then. Okay, so we're here at the Red Rocket Truck Stop, and we've got dog meat. We've got everything in our inventory put into there except for the Your Special Book. I think that's easiest. It just makes it easier because once you pull up your, your inventory, it's all you got to mess with and you want to drop it on the ground, you want to command dog meat to stand a distance away that whenever he comes at the item, he slowly walks. And watch his right paw, your left, as you're looking at him, that paw right there. Whenever he plants that paw, that's when he's about to dip his head in order to pick up the item. That's when you want to pick up your copy of it, or the copy that he's about to pick up, my, my bad. And this will create the duplicate. Now, all you have to do is drop yours on the ground, click it, it'll give you the option, and then put it into your workstation. Leave that one on the ground, make him stand again in a distance where he's not going to charge at it, like that. You don't want him to go that quickly because then you, you really lose your window to be able to pick up the book. So you're going to do this, get your stats all maxed up or to whatever level you desire and then we'll move on to the next phase of it which is to gather some raw materials so the next step in all of this is to get yourself the shipments that you require in order to use the workstation bench to duplicate raw items so the first one that you're going to want to get is going to be the shipment of cloth which you can get from Connie Abernathy at Abernathy Farm, which is located just here to the south of Red Rocket Truck Stop. And we're going to be utilizing the new uh, vendor glitch in order to get items for free, basically. Come on, talk to me. Thank you. Sure. Ooh, look at that naked girl. All right, so to do this, what you want to do is you're going to sell the vendor one item that you don't care about losing. And, and you'll also lose any caps that you might have that are over the value. So you see I have zero caps. The value of this is going to be 200. 
I've sold her the one round that I don't care about losing. And on the PlayStation, you want to press X and then square, basically one right after the other. And on Xbox, it's A and then X, one right after the other. The timing's pretty simple to get down, just give it a little bit of practice. But you'll know it worked whenever the trade confirmation comes up and you can see in my inventory that the shipment of cloth is there. But I don't have the caps to cover it. Basically, it's confirmed the trade for the um, one round that I've sold to her and not the shipment. So that's how you know you've got the timing right on it. And you can just keep repeating this for anything that you want. Just make them sure you sell them one round. Now you'll know it's done wrong. You see here the confirmed trade has come up, but I didn't get the item in my inventory. You can see there I'm still just at plus one caps, even though I like I'm on the ammo so you can't see it. Let me uh get on my inventory so you can see it. So you there it didn't work either because the shipment came over but I didn't get the confirmation window. If that happens, simply sell it back to them, try it again. You know, so that one didn't work either. Neither did that one. But at any rate, you keep doing that until you get the shipment that you want, and you only need to get one of each from each person. The next one that you'll want to get is from Trash Can Carla. She has the shipment of oil, and she can be found either at Drumlin Diner or Sanctuary, and she kind of roams this road in between them. So, you know, you can wait at either location until she shows up, or you can go wandering down her little path until you find her. After that, what you're going to need to do is go to Diamond City. Don't worry about anything that happens to be in your way. Just make a dead beeline for Rivet, or Rivet City. <laughs> Diamond City. And once there, you want to get copper, which is sold by Arturo. You want to get a shipment of glass, which is sold by Dr. Sun. And you want to get a shipment of adhesive, which is shown, uh, sold by Myrna or Percy, depending on what time of day you get there. Once you have those, you want to go back to Red Rocket in order to utilize the dog meat duplication glitch once again. Okay, so once you have all the shipments that you need in order to do this, what you're going to want to do is now you want to duplicate those shipments the same way you would duplicate anything else. Have Dog Meat walk over to it, pick it up as he's picking it up, let him drop it on the ground, and, uh, you know, you don't even have to pick it back up at this point because, you know, you've already put yours into the trade or into your inventory so you just keep having him duplicate the one that he dropped on the ground for you so you see he'll come over bam pick it up he's going to drop his once he's dropped his command him to go stand out there and you want to do this until you have as many as you're basically comfortable with in order to do this of course without messing it up you see how uh, when he r charges over to it, it can be Take difficult it. to get the timing right on it. Boom, boom. Pick it up. So once you have the number that you want, I would strongly suggest about 7 to 10 of each shipment. Just because the more shipments you have, the more raw materials you get per attempt at uh, using the workstation in order to duplicate the raw materials. Okay, the next phase of this process is going to be utilizing the workbench duplication glitch I'm sure you're all familiar with. If not, what you want to do is go to your workshop and make sure that you take everything out of it that you possibly can. Additionally, you want to take everything that's in your inventory and put it into this container over here or any container of your choosing. Just get it out of your inventory. For this, you know, if you've got your all your shipments, the cloth, the oil, the co copper, the glass, and the adhesive, you're going to want to have all the shipments at once. You know, I'm doing this with just these two to demonstrate how you can do multiple shipments at once and it's not a problem. 
Additionally, I'm not real sure, but I believe I have a couple keys remapped, so this may not be necessarily the same key presses, but for me, the store all option is triangle and the take all option is square. So what you want to do in this part of the, the glitch is you're going to store everything and then immediately take everything back. And what that does is, you see I still have my eight shipments, but I also have some cloth and oil in the bench over there. And then you just keep doing this, store all, take all. Open back up, store all, take all. Open back up, store all, take all. You just keep doing that over and over and over again. Now the, the timing on this one is pretty forgiving, but you can also mess it up. Something to note about this, if it consumes a certain number of your shipments and then suddenly it stops working, like you're not getting any more oil from placing shipments into it, what you need to do is maybe sleep for 24 hours and then travel away to another location like back to Diamond City and then come back. And then your shipment should start working again. So if any one of these stops producing results for you, because I think it can only consume so many per day and then you have to travel away and do other things and make the game think you've been all over the Commonwealth. But in that event, so you want to do this until you get a pretty sizable quantity of cloth, oil, adhesive, and glass. Those are the four ingredients that are required to make Molotov cocktails. You need two adhesive, one cloth, two glass, and four oil for each Molotov cocktail. And once you have all those ingredients, what you're then going to do is come over here to your crafting station. You're going to want to set down a sleeping bag. And I would suggest you go grab the chemistry station. It's over here on the far side of the Red Rocket truck stop. It's parked right here. You just grab it in workshop mode and bring it back over here so that everything's all in a nice clean little area. So you're going to want to sleep for an hour just to give you that well rested bonus so that you know you can do that and then you want to come down to grenade and then molotov cocktail and then just start spamming the crap out of making molotov cocktails now as you're making these molotov cocktails like I say, you just want to go absolutely ham on these things. But as you'll see as I'm doing this, it'll eventually get to a point where you get huge frame rate drops from doing this. And you'll notice in the upper left corner, it's telling you, you know, glass is removed, Molotov cocktail made. Well, what happens is, is that buffer over there gets really full with trying to give you a bunch of messages and you get way, way ahead of it. So what happens whenever those frame rates start to really drop on you is you just want to exit out of the crafting session and give it, you know, maybe two, three seconds for everything to kind of catch up and go away and then jump back into the bench and continue on with your business. It's also that the experience bar over there starts to get way behind where you're actually at in terms of level. So this actually starts to get a less of a problem, a little bit higher level that you get. But you just want to keep doing this until you reach, you know, somewhere in your mid-20s, whatever you feel comfortable with. Because the next part of the process is going to involve going to Saugus Ironworks and getting the picket fences manual from there. So now I'm starting to really feel the frame rate drops. It, it's going by slower. This is very, very pronounced when you're a lot lower level and you're getting a lot of experience. So now that that's happening, I just want to exit out of the station, give everything a chance to clear itself up, just go right back in and start you know, hammering away on those, those Molotov cocktails. The nice bonus to this is, is you'll end up with an extremely large supply of Molotovs to use in your adventure over to Saugus Ironworks. So that'll be the next part of the video. Okay, so I am over at the Saugus Ironworks, which is where we got to be for the next part of it. And you can find that over here all the way to the east, close to, you know, here's Green Top Nursery, Museum of Witchcraft. 
This is that main road that runs uh, through the, the Commonwealth right here. So, and here is the truck stop and sanctuary for comparison. So once you're here, uh, you need to be aware that the enemy here, the forged, are in their mid-20s range, and they throw a lot of Molotov cocktails. They Some of them have flamers. They can pre be pretty beefy. But you need to make your way through this area. Now, I would suggest that maybe you buy up, uh, using that vendor glitch, some armor from Diamond City vendors and, and, and what have Just make yourself as beefy as possible before coming here because you really want this process to be as easy as possible. And once you're in here, you're going to, you know, find your way through the location. I'm not going to give all that away until you find an area called uh, Saugus Blast Furnace. And in there is going to be a little cutscene involving a guy named Jake Finch, who's the, the little brat that, you know, betrays his family down here. Yes, minor spoiler, whatever, you know, you're cheating anyway, so who cares? Um, once in here, you're going to be thrust into that conversation. And, you know, I've cut off that conversation here, but the thing you're looking for is right here. Picket fences and the explosives bobblehead. Now you see they've gone ham on me now. You don't have to grab the bobblehead, but you can just grab that uh, Picket Fences book. It's right up here on the platform behind uh, the guy standing next to Slag. Uh, you can either choose to run up and grab it while they're having their little conversation down there and Jake is uh, deciding what he's going to do and then try to book it out of the room before any of them even open fire on you, which if that is the case, you know, you could probably do this a little bit earlier, maybe uh, invest a few ranks into sneak so that this is easier to get through. But ultimately, you know, it's really up to you how you want to do this, but you need to get that picket fences book. Otherwise you just have to keep making Molotov cocktails to get as high as you can, but you know, they really start to lack in the experience department later on. And for the last part of all of this, what we're going to need is massive amounts of copper. So I'm going to show you how to duplicate stacks of items. Here you can see I have 32,000 copper and I want to try to duplicate as much of that as possible. You'll see here that it's broke up into different stacks. This one right here is what happens whenever uh, dog meat fails to duplicate the proper way, which I'll show you how to remedy. And then here you have my original stack and then some stacks that have clumped together. I don't know what makes it clump together properly, but at any rate, you always want to duplicate the highest stack that you have. So pick up the others, get them off the ground, and then have the uh, dog meat do his uh, business on the stack. Just like before, pick it up before he does. Now what's going to happen is, is he's only going to pick up one of those. Now, it was a large uh, little hang up there because of how many. So you see he's only dropped one copper bar. So what we want to do is, is we want to drop our copper on the ground and now you'll see that his copper says 24,000. It always takes the highest value of what you drop on the ground, so don't worry about that. But then you want to do a quick save, and then once your save is done, you want to quit to the main menu. From the main menu, you're going to continue back in, and when you come back in, this is actually going to be the amount that it says it is, because if you just pick it up right now, it's not actually going to give you the full 24,000 copper. And I know it says it's there in the in in the menu right now, but if you go to leave, you'll you'll end up with not the correct amount. So you have to exit out to the main menu in order to do this. And like I said, it works on uh, any kind of stacked item, whether it's the copper or the shipments. Uh, it might be easier just to do this on stacks of shipments in order to get you know, a real easy time of doing the workshop duplication gauge. But you're going to need hundreds of thousands of copper if it is your intent to go to maximum level. So once you have the amount of copper that you feel comfortable with, next thing that you got to do, now you might want to go dump all that copper into your workstation so that you're not uh, 
over encumbered while you do this although at a certain point it's not going to matter because you're just going to stand in one spot and just keep smashing two buttons over and over again but anyways you're going to want to go to decorations go to statues and you're going to want to deal with these two right here don't worry about these big ones that take 20 copper per placement I mean, they do give you five more experience per placement, but it's double the amount of materials. So you just want to place these down all around until you get to the point where your settlement size is capped out and you can't build anymore. And then at this point, you're just going to start mashing the X and square button together and uh, make sure you're lined up on it. Once you get yourself lined up in just the right spot, you can just sit here and press X and square all day long while you watch YouTube videos or press that like and subscribe button for me and you will see your experience skyrocket. You get between 20 and 25 experience per placement and you know you can place them down very rapidly every time an idiot savant procs on it you know you're going to you're going to see thousands of experience points go screaming by really quickly doing this. Uh, I hope you found this whole process useful. If so, like I said before, hit me with that like and subscribe if you would be so kind. And I hope you guys have a really nice day.